I was in high school, being a first generation immigrant with parents who have ingrained the importance of higher education, but they actually had no idea about the college system in the U.S. I wasn't a terrible student that got the attention of the counselors in high school. As the first person in your family to go to college, I wanted to become a counselor for the Promise Scholars Program. Hi, I'm Sunny Martin. I work for College of San Mateo, and I'm a counselor for the Promise Scholars Program. Where I became a dad at a young age, I was 16 years old when I had my daughter. And during that time, the messages that I was receiving were just negative messages from my professors, from my teachers, from my counselors. That experience shaped me in regards to who I am as a person today, but also who I am as a counselor, because now I make sure that those messages and those words are not given to my students. Hello, my name is Andy Gomez. I'm one of the counselors for the Promise Scholars Program. I'm um, also working with EOPS and one of the coordinators for Brothers in Pine Brothers Program. I was a good student in high school. I went to a university that was really adamant about the retention and success, especially of African-American students. Within that first year, they did a lot of follow-up to make sure that you felt as though you belonged within the institution and that you were wanted there and that you could be successful. Hello, my name is Lauren Ford. I am the Director of Strategic Initiatives and Planning for the San Mateo County Community College District. The Promise Scholars Program is a three-year completion focused program where we offer students support financially by paying tuition, providing textbook assistance, transportation or food assistance monthly, as well as dedicated counseling. So they work with the same counselor from their entry into the college, ensuring that students have all of the support and resources that they need in order to complete their degree within two to three years. The Promise Scholars Program first launched within our district in 2016 at Skyline College based off of the CUNY ASAP models from the city universities in New York and then across the district, it evolved. So in 2018, Skyline College, Kenyatta College, and the College of San Mateo officially launched their first cohorts of the Promise Scholars Program. As counselors, we get about 150 students. Many of our students are first-generation college students, and they actually mention that often they don't have that community or they don't get to spend that time with their friends that they used to do in high school. We address building a community, get to know each other, getting to really know their instructors, the Promise staff and faculty, also learn different skills, research methods in order to be a successful college student. We also offer cohorted classes where only Promise Scholar students could take these classes. For us counselors, we get to meet with them three times, four times throughout the semester to keep track of data, to keep track of our students that, that we're working with is um, the progress report. Just making sure that they're getting the right support, whether it's tutoring or making sure that our students are meeting with a professor during office hours or attending workshops that involve how to take better notes or how to study. So one way that we get the word out about our Promise Scholars Program is working really closely with our high school partners because that is our biggest kind of portion of new students that are coming into our college communities. And it's always really exciting to be able to go to the senior scholarship nights and to say, we are offering 50 of your graduates free college for the next three years. We also reach out to adult schools, to other community organizations, and we have been doing a lot of outreach and workshop events, and all of our staff and faculty are present and let them know what the program could offer because we want them to see our faces and know the people who will be working with and serving our students when they come to CSM. College of San Mateo has an Instagram page at CSM Promise where we post updates, our application workshops, and we just give a lot of information around our program and when to apply. Well, there was always a need of how can we support men of color. I got together with some of my colleagues and we decided to start a program called Brothers and Kind Brothers that is just in the Promise Scholars Program. We have uh, weekly meetings where we discuss the challenges that we're experiencing as men of color. We also have workshops, but also just redefining what it means to be a man in today's society. In the spring of 2021, we were so excited that we just had our first three-year cohort graduate. 
We're really proud of the amazing work that has been done by our Promise Scholar teams across the district to get to this level. As a team, we know we're making a difference. And we know as a team that we have the very best intention of our students, and we will continue to do that. The College of San Mateo is turning 100 this year. And so we're incredibly excited about this historic and momentous occasion. And as a part of that celebration for our centennial, we really want to highlight the Promise Scholars Program as uh, a program that's really innovative uh, and equity advancing and really ensuring the success of our students within our communities. Mm -hmm.